Out of the blue corner, making his UFC debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Hollywood, California, the Nightman. So as I'm going into this liquor store, I can see the cashier was a little nervous already. I asked him what was he so nervous about. He said he's been owning the store for about 10 years. There had been a lot of gang violence. As a matter of fact, when he first started 10 years ago, there was a big murder down the street. And I can only think of one person that got murdered in this neighborhood 10 years ago. It was my father. So I got an idea. I decided to go out and wait till the morning. See, I had to wait till the morning to do this because they usually gather up at night. In the morning, they wouldn't expect it. And just my luck, there was one guy walking down the street. As I walking up on him, I start rushing him. And I knock him over, just try to bully him, try to scare him. But then he pulls out a gun, so I gotta stomp his face in. Only thing I didn't know, he had a friend right around the corner. Rushing to come save him, he's got a gun, he's shooting. I'm running down the alleyway, looking for an exit plan, looking for somewhere to go. I'm thinking, is my life over? Cause I'm trapped in somebody's backyard. I know if I'm gonna get killed or not. As I'm pacing around, I'm thinking, oh man, I gotta get out of here. I can't fight my way out of this like everything else. But luckily, I escaped. Now I know what y'all thinking. Why are we in the police station? Well, y'all remember I got arrested when I was younger for fighting, right? So think of it as a parole officer or counselor. I have to check in with the captain once a month, you know, just to make sure I'm straight. A little drug test here, some questions there, you know, the usual. Well, let's get back to the fighting. Let's get back to my career. See, it's been a while since I've been fighting, so I'm a little rusty. You know, so I'm hitting the gym. I got to train a little bit, make sure the kicks and the hits are still there. You know, but I got it. I got it. It's been a whole year since I fought. But I think we're right back where we need to be. Here we go. Here we have our first fight to determine if we get into the UFC or not. This is make it or break it. You know, nervous? Not really. I got confidence, but I haven't been fighting it forever. Let's see what I got. Now, I don't know much about my opponent. I didn't study film. I just went in and attack, attack, attack. I'm trying to see what I can hit him with. He's grabbing me, hitting me with uppercuts. You know, it kind of stunned me. I had to back up a little bit. He grabs me, hit me with more uppercuts. And I can't really get a hit on this guy. So I'm backing up. I'm trying to find a strategy. You know? I think I found his weakness. I think I found his game. But then he puts me on the ground. So I'm thinking to myself, how do I beat this guy? Then it all clicked. It all came together. I just gotta do what I know. So I'm tagging him, hitting him. With my heavy right hand. Caught him with an uppercut as soon as he was reaching in to go for a takedown. And it was my time to end it. At least I thought. He got back up, but I had to put him back down. This time, we had to end it. And we won our first fight of our professional career to get into the UFC. 
It has been a whole year since I fought. And all it took was a couple weeks to get back into training. I'm here to show them that I'm for real about what I do. And you see his face is bloody, not mine. The fight ended in the first round and made it all over social media. The contract entailed that if I was to win the fight in the first round that I would get an automatic contract into the UFC. So with my recent success, I decided why not spoil myself a little bit. As you see, we are at the car dealership. So you already know what that means. We gotta get ourselves a car. Only thing is, I had mine already custom made. All I had to do was get the money together and after winning that fight, I think I got it. But we got ourselves a new Hellcat Challenger in red camo. It's a little flashy, it's a little noticeable, you know, people are gonna know who I am. But it's okay, let's go ahead and start this baby up, hear how it sounds. You can hear the Hellcat motor in this thing. As you see the people walking past, see my car, and they're like, here, let me get a quick picture of this. I'm like, don't get hit, move out of the way, I got places to go. I gotta somehow pay for that Hellcat because it's not fully paid. So here, we're gonna try to get this contract bonus. I chose Fans Love Me. As you see the bonuses it entails if we meet the goal of getting 50,000 fans at the end of the contract. Next, all we're gonna do is sign on the dotted line. That $100,000 bonus will definitely pay for that Hellcat. But we got to get back in the trainer room as you see me working on the, the heavy bag here. You know, getting some punches in, getting some kicks in. I'm already in peak performance. But here is the guy we are fighting, Eric Silva, who is 20 and 11. You know, it's going to be a tough matchup. This is what we are built for, tough matchups. As you see, the weigh-in, we got people cheering. Everybody's excited to see the Nightmare make his UFC debut. Let's get it. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, he will never forget this experience making the walk to that famed UFC octagon for the first time. But the question beckons, will there be nerves? Will there be jitters under the bright lights of the UFC octagon for the first time? He doesn't look wide-eyed necessarily here, but you have to be mindful of a possible adrenaline dump that could really affect your cardio if you're not ready for it. practitioners in this division, D.C., and I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive jiu-jitsu, defensive jiu-jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It's the part tail of the day for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. The American is 18. The Brazilian is 36. The rest is roughly identical. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, making his UFC debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Hollywood, California, the Nightmare. All that training, all that time spent in the gym, all comes down to right here. My UFC debut starts right now as we come out firing. You know, showing them exactly what we're made of with right hand and left hand and hooks and jabs and straights. But I gotta remember, this is the UFC. He comes back with a knee to the stomach. You know, he's not gonna be easy. This isn't gonna be easy, but it doesn't matter. We gotta show what we got. He's catching me with elbows, catching me with a right hook, got me stumbling backwards. 
you know, I, I gotta show what I'm made of. I'm going in for a kick. He takes me to the ground. I gotta take this thing back up. I can not let him win. So we get back up to our feet. He's going in for a kick. I go in for a hook as he's not blocking his head. Let's see if we can get a knockout. Let's see if we can catch him slipping. Catch him with a kick. Stuns him a little bit. Can we finish the fight here? As you see, I'm trying, but I'm running out of stamina. He grabs onto me, giving me knees and hooks and uppercuts. Trying to take this fight to the ground. Got me up against the cage, just rocking me. And I catch him with a kick. He's not blocking his head, so we take him. We got him on the ground. And of course, the tutorial comes up right where we don't need it. Try to skip this. And I'm trying to finish the fight, but he gets saved by the bill. But it's okay. The beginning of the second round, he was hurt last round, so we got to end it. Let's start the round off immediately. As he goes to the ground, we're about to end it. And he's out. It took 15 seconds in the second round to end this. What a way to start your UFC career with one of these knockouts. Proving that my stand-up game is phenomenal. My ground and pound game is phenomenal. You get a win like that in a fight like that in your first match. And it means a lot. The Nightmare gets his first UFC win. It was an exciting first fight. Maybe I took a little bit of too much damage, you know. But it's going to be alright. If you guys are ready for episode 3, if you want this series to continue, leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. It will bring you episode number three.